Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the new changes in 23.8.2 of Files Wars. Uh, so let's first install it. Uh, so in 23.8.1 the installer improved, so now it's got a welcome page, uh, it's got all the, um, you've, it's, it's easier to select which option you want the server or node, and um, this time we're going to install the server, uh, destination and just leave as default. And now it will auto start the server. So here it is running. I can open it up. And we're up and running. So uh, the first thing you'll notice will mention plugins. So currently, it, now it only ships with the basic nodes. So if you want to do video processing or image processing or audio processing, you've got to go to the plugins page and download those nodes. Just keep swinging up basic. So I will want to download videos, audio, I'll do comics as well, and let's also do image. Uh, so it's going to take a little while to download the image nodes. The image nodes are about 80 megabytes. Um, there you go. And it's one of the reasons it's doing ship with all these, uh, just to produce a download size. And some people only want to do images, some people only want to do videos. Um, so, so now I've got all those main nodes, I can come into flows. And this is a new um, flow wizard uh, template chooser. So it's on the basic ones at first, so it's just a, a blank video, a blank folder, an audio file, image file, video file. So these are all just single node, uh, single flow element uh, flows. So uh, let's go to video, and we can see there's uh, uh, some more uh, templates available that weren't ava available previously. All the ones that say file flows up here are the official built in ones. All these other ones will be uh, user contrib contributed ones. So these are my two, uh, Revan. So this is what I use personally. So if I went to convert um, movies, it would show it uses the basic node and the video nodes. So if I didn't have the video nodes installed, this flow template would it be available to me. Uh, you can also uh, do sub um, tag filtering. So the top tags are like audio, comic, image, etc. Once you click on videos, you can also go, I want to see all Opus ones, uh, WebM, HTVC. Uh, currently, there's not a lot of flows. It's basically just the built-in ones plus my two. Uh, but hopefully, the plan is for people to submit their flows and to make this quite big. And you can also filter, so if I turned off, uh, oh, if you click, unclick it, it will turn off the filtering, so now it shows all available flows. So if I want to like search for my personal flows, I can type in my username. If I want to look for any HTVC ones, I can look at that. Uh, can maybe, maybe this is what I wanted. You click next, and then you come to kind of a traditional uh, template uh, dialogue. Uh, side pane editor rather um, it no longer has a template to choose from because we've got that um, previous dialogue to do it um, but it's got all the output options so I can just call this convert movies uh, videos movies uh, and I click save and now I've got a Quite complex flow set up and running all for my system. So if I look under move files, it's where I typed it in. Um, you know, things like that. Uh, for a more, well, that's my, my personal flow. Um, so there's not a lot of options to choose like codecs and stuff. So if we come to uh, convert video. So convert video is like the built in basic one that was previously in file flows. Uh, it's been updated to use the new templating system, but yeah, you see you got options. So now I added uh, VP9 and AV1. So if I say AV1, output file. So yeah, uh, now we got AV1. Let's select AV1. Uh, output file, you can do uh, replace original file or save to folder. I can save save to folder. And by selecting save to f uh, folder, we get an option of where to save it. Uh, we can delete the original and then we've got this extra option of deleting the directory if it's empty. 
So if you're using like a download client to download videos, you might want to delete the original file and also delete the uh, uh, original directory if that directory is empty. Um, for example, if you're downloading TV shows, there might be like 10 TV shows in there. So you don't want to delete it unless it's empty. Um, but if there's only one left over, you can delete the directory. So I click yes to that. Uh, I'll crop black bars. I don't want to do scaling. Uh, I want to do AC. Uh, I'll do AAC and NKV. So I'll say NKV AAC AV1 crop. Yeah, I'll save that. And now we've got these things, so video encode should be AV1, yep, AV1. Uh, we've got crop black bars there, we've got add AAC, we've got moved, and we've also got delete source folder if empty. So this will check, um, automatically check for all video extensions. So if you want to add an extra extension, say, uh, I don't know, um, WMV, I don't think I included that. Now this is a regular expression, so you can do it like this. If I just typed in WMV, um, that would match anywhere in a file name. So if a file name, you know, was my WMV.AVI, that would match even though it's not a WMV file. Um, so if you use slash dot, the slash escapes the dot. So I mean, it's dot. And a dollar sign means end of string. So it just means it has to end with WMV. Uh, but yeah, so it's... You shouldn't need any more, but if you do, there you go. Uh, click save, and yeah, that's you know how to get a flow up and running pretty quickly. Um, and the rest is, you know, hasn't changed. It's you add your library. Uh, uh, one thing I did change is I made template required. It uh, used to default to custom. Um, some people would um, sometimes not select something, and then all their files would be um, picked up, and they only wanted video files. So now template is a required option to choose. So hopefully that will fix that issue. Uh, so I can go to video files to only get video files. Call it video library. Uh, videos. So I'll do that one. Yep. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's basically the big new feature of 23. Point 08.2 is this dialog and the ability to add more powerful flows and for you to um, share them with the wider world uh, but yeah um, so that was a quick overview I'll do another tutorial about how to actually create rows later on so um, take care guys now yeah.